right, so the story for Django Unchained, of course, follows Django, who is played by Jamie Foxx in the film. And in the beginning, he is a slave. He's with a bunch of other slaves, and of course, their owners, two white dudes. And Christoph Waltz, out of nowhere, his character comes out and says, I want to go and buy one of your slaves. His name's, by, by the way, I forgot to mention, his name is Dr. King Schultz in the film, which I thought was pretty funny. And he says, I want to go buy one of those slaves. And of course, that slave is Django. They say no. The two white dudes, they're like, no, we're keeping them. And Christoph Waltz, being the badass he is, he's like, fine. And then bang, bang, kills both of them and takes Django with him. Now, the thing is... Christoph Waltz wants something from Django, not work or anything, well, kind of, but he wants Django to help him identify three people that he is looking for because he is a bounty hunter. He's trying to kill these three so he can bring them back and get his bounty. Now, these three people, no one knows what they look like. Uh, they don't even know their names. The only person that knows is Django because the original owners of Django was these three people, and he needs to go and find these three so he can kill them, and Django's going to help, and if he does, he's going to give him a little bit of money, and he's going to set him free, give him his freedom, and let him do what he does. Now, the thing is, the advertisements would really like to, you know, throw this in and say, hey, this is the main plot, and it really isn't. After an hour, um, Django decides, you know what, I want to be a bounty hunter with you, I want to stay with you, Christoph Waltz, that's what he says, he calls him Christoph Waltz, no he doesn't, but um, he decides, I want to stay with you, I want to be a bounty hunter, and I want to go and get my wife back, because the original owner of me and my wife sold us separately, so I want to go and find my wife, and of course Christoph Waltz is like, okay, I'll help you because we're buddies now. And in the later in the film, they meet up with a character named uh, Calvin Candy, named I mean played by um, Leonardo DiCaprio, of course. And I won't spoil where that goes, but let's just say the entire mood of the movie <laughs> changes from somewhat westerny feel, you know, badass feel, to something a little different. So yeah, the story here is fantastic. It really is very well written, even though a lot of people will get. A little tired of the over-excessive use of the N-word. They use it a lot in this film. But you know what? It didn't. They didn't use it way too much. And they didn't use it all the way for just like dramatic effects. Sometimes they used it for comedic effect. And it felt a little weird to laugh at those parts. But I don't care. I'm going to laugh at them. I don't, I, they were funny. Okay, They were well written enough. I thought they were funny. And the movie def definitely balances uh, comedic action, drama, and just plain up goofiness at times and I really enjoyed that I really did about the story I really do like the main two characters I'm sorry for the phone in the background um you really do like the main two characters I thought uh, Jamie Foxx and Christoph Waltz had great chemistry together they really felt like a you know kind of brother and brother in a way later on in the film I really like that Leonardo DiCaprio in this film is freaking awesome now I don't want to spoil where his character goes or what his character really is because I didn't know who he was and then when I went in there I'm like damn okay that's what he is and he is awesome in this film. He is so energetic at times and so much fun to watch. I love Leonardo DiCaprio and he's awesome in this. I wouldn't be surprised if he got a, a Best Supporting Actor award for this because he is fantastic in this film. And, you know, Christoph Waltz and even Jamie Foxx, to some extent, I think should go up for that award too because they are amazing in this. They really are. Those three are fantastic. You also have Samuel Jackson in the film who comes in later along with Calvin Candy and he is amazing in this film as well. He's very funny. Um, when I said they used the n-word as a comedic effect, he comes in and uses that perfectly. He is fantastic in this film and I really love all those characters. I do. I mean some of them are despicable. Even the heroes at times can be despicable but you know what? I really enjoyed that. That's what Quentin Tarantino does well, and I really like the characters. I really like the actors. The rest of the supporting cast did a really damn good job as well. And overall, I thought the story was a lot of fun, balances a lot of stuff, and the acting was a lot of fun as well. So you know what? Let's go on to... I don't know. Let's just wrap this up. Actually, I know what I can talk about. I have a couple of complaints. I really do. One complaint I have is that the movie is long, and I kind of felt that at times. I was like checking my phone, like, okay... Alright, the, the movie should have ended about 10, 20 minutes ago, but it's still going on, and what, what they showed me was fun enough, don't get me wrong, but it, it went on a little too long at times, but that's Quentin Tarantino, again, I should have just expected that. Um, number two, that should be a, by the way, that shouldn't be just a thing to say, oh, it's Quentin Tarantino, so it's, you know, it's fine. No, it's not, it really isn't, it, it went on a little too long. Number two, I felt like they padded out scenes with music way too much, and again, that's Quentin Tarantino, but... He needs to stop doing that. He just puts music that he really likes, some Western music, some rap music. He just puts in there just while they're riding on their horses. And 
first couple times I really enjoyed that, especially when they uh, did the original Django uh, theme from the original movie. I thought that was awesome. I, I was like, this is awesome. It really is. It was right in the beginning of the film. I'm like, you know what? This set it up perfectly, and I really loved it, and that was fun, but the rest, eh, hmm. And the third thing is the excessive, excessive use of the N-word will really bother some, really will bother some. Didn't really bother me, but I'm going to put that as a complaint anyway because they really used it maybe a little bit too much, but it really didn't bother me. So overall, I still thought this was a very fun movie, very bloody, um, action-filled at times, and dialogue-filled. Uh, so many tense scenes with dialogue, just like in Glorious Bastards or Pulp Fiction or Reservoir Dogs. He does dialogue so well and he makes it so tense and you never know where it's going to go and I love that. I love that about Quentin Tarantino. He is one of my favorite directors of all time and this is an amazing film. It's definitely in my top maybe 10, maybe 20, I don't know. It's not, it's not my favorite film of the year but it definitely is an amazing film either way. I'm going to give this a 38 out of 40. I really enjoy Django Unchained. So much fun. Definitely go check it out. There you go. There's my review. Look forward to my review for parental guidance tomorrow. Yeah. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the review. Thank you and goodbye.